Hello Year 2, I hope you've had a really super day today and enjoyed your workout with Miss Ashwell and your DT with Mr Ladyman. I'm here to join you now for some science learning for us to do together and this is going to involve doing a little bit more exercise so make sure you have a nice space around you and you're wearing comfortable shoes or you've got bare feet. Okay, I'm going to share my screen now and we'll have a little look at our warm up. Okay, now we're very used to these now. So we've done lots of these in school. Just got a quick Explorify starter to start off with. Well, as we can see, we've got three foods here. I want you to look at each of the foods and I want you to decide which is the odd one out and why. Now, there isn't just one answer for this. It could be any of them. So be as imaginative as you like, deciding which one you think is the odd one out and why you think this. OK, I want you to pause the video now, have a little go at that one for me. OK, I wonder which one you chose to be the odd one out. Now, looking myself, I'm looking at the banana and the spaghetti. And I'm noticing that the banana and the spaghetti are similar colours. They're both sort of a yellow colour. So I think the odd one out would be the granola bar because it's the only one that's not yellow or the only one that's not got yellow in it. But I wonder which one you thought was the odd one out. Okay, now our learning for our science today is we are learning to describe the importance for humans to exercise. So we're learning to think about why exercise is important for everybody. Now to begin with, um, earlier on, I introduced our science topic and I told you that our science topic is called Healthy Me. So before we start our learning today, I just want you to have a little go at creating, now you don't have to write this down if you don't want to, but having a think about what does the word healthy mean? You may want to write this down in a spider diagram. You may just want to have a think about what healthy means. Pause the video now and just have a think. What do you think healthy means? Okay, so we're now going to move on and we're going to have a think about exercise. So exercise, why is exercise important? Okay, why do you think exercise is important? I want you to write down all the reasons you can think of as to why exercise is important. And also, once you've done that, I want you to think about how can we keep fit? Can you think of some different things we could do as humans to keep ourselves fit? Could we do an exercise class? Could we go for a run? Could we go for a bike ride? Okay, so have a think about why is exercise important and then have a go at making a list of the different ways we could keep fit. Pause the video now and have a go at those two questions for me. Okay, now I'd really love to see your lists of the ways you can keep fit. So if you'd like to email that into us, that would be fantastic. Okay, so moving on to some more questions. Now we can see um, some runners here. Now we're going to try and think like scientists. Now. And we're going to try and think about, first of all, why do we need to keep fit? And how do we feel when we keep fit? So if you were to go for a bike ride, if you were to go for a run, or even do a bit of exercise in your home, how do you feel when you keep fit? Do you feel really tired or do you feel quite happy that you've done some exercise? OK, so pause the video now and have a think about those questions. OK, now we've just got a couple more questions to think about. So these are some questions about you now, thinking about your fitness. So first of all, how do you keep fit? What do you do? Now, I know some of you do different classes or dance classes or football. You may not be able to do those at the moment. But are you doing things at home to keep yourself fit? If so, what do you do? And which one do you think is the best way to keep fit? And why do you think this? So pause the video now and have a think about those questions. Okay, so moving on to our activity for today. So thinking about all of those questions about keeping fit and doing our exercise, you're going to have a go at setting up your own 
exercise carousel or your own sort of circuit of different exercises. Now, for each exercise, you're going to be thinking about how each exercise affects your body. What happens in your body when you do each exercise? OK, so. You're going to choose four different exercises to do, and that's completely up to you which exercises you want to do, whether you want to use equipment for your exercises or whether you just want to do it. For example, star jumps where you don't need any equipment. As I said before, make sure you have enough space to do them. You may want to make a little poster for each circuit to say what the exercise is. So you may want to choose exercises like star jumps, press ups. If you have a skipping rope at home, one of your exercises might be skipping. If you have a ball, you may want to do an exercise with the ball. OK, so you've got lots of different things. You can choose whichever exercises you like. For each exercise, you need to write down what you did, how many times you did it, and what happened to your body. So it would be great to see if some of you could have a go at drawing this table on a piece of paper at home. So we want our the name of our exercise. We want to know what did you have to do for that exercise? What did it involve you doing? We want to know how many times you did it. Now, I would decide that before you start doing the exercise. I say, OK, I'm going to do 20 star jumps. And then afterwards, what happened to your body? Maybe nothing happened. Maybe you felt really out of breath. Maybe you started sweating a little bit. Maybe uh, your heart was beating faster. Maybe you uh, really needed a drink of water because you had quite a dry mouth. OK, so I've had a little go at an example here. So one of my exercises I chose was to do star jumps. To do this exercise, I had to jump in the air using my arms and legs to make a star shape. So I'm explaining what I'm doing. Now, I just did 10 star jumps and I noticed that my heart beat a little bit faster and my breathing became a little bit quicker. I was breathing a little bit more quick, quicker than normal. OK, so that's just one example there. OK, but I'd like you to have a go at choosing four exercises for each one, writing down what did you do? How many times did you do it and what happened to your body? Again, it's up to you if you'd rather type this out on the computer or you'd rather do it by hand. If you're doing it by hand, then if you have a ruler available, then remember to use a ruler to draw your table so we have nice straight lines. I'd really, really love to see which exercises you get up to and the different things happen to your body after each exercise. So please send those in to us. So just a few questions to think about before we end our science lesson for today. So first of all, which parts of the body did each exercise help? So if you were doing sit-ups, for example, did that work your stomach muscles? If you were doing skipping, did that work your arm muscles or your leg muscles? OK. And which exercises made you feel good? Okay, which exercises after you did them made you feel happy and made you feel good for doing them? Think about why that is as well. Okay, so that is our learning for today. I hope you've enjoyed our science learning together and I hope you enjoy setting up and completing your exercise carousel. Have a great time. I'd love to see some pictures um, of you completing your exercise carousels. So send those emails in because we'd really, really love to hear from you. Have a really fantastic weekend and I will see you on Monday. Goodbye for now.